Today I'm going to show you how to do a deadlift correctly. So first thing is we want to look at the footwear. So I'm going to ask Julie to take her shoes off. If you have a shoe that has a very thin sole, like a Converse or something like that, that could work. Otherwise barefoot would be even better because that's going to give you better leverage. The bar has to travel less distance and it's going to make her stronger. We want to put the feet inside um, the width of the knurling on the bar. And so you're going to grab the bar now on the knurling. You want to grab as narrow of a grip as possible because having a wider grip, again, is going to make lifting the bar even more difficult. We want to keep the shins as vertical as possible, so that means that she has to shift her weight onto her heels. And from there, before lifting, we want to activate the lats, which is going to help to brace the lats, but also the abs at the same time. So we're going to be looking here for scapular depression, as if you want to bring your shoulder blades into your back pockets. Once that's activated, then she can lift whenever you're ready. Good. Trying to keep the shins as vertical as possible throughout the movement on the way down and on the way back up as well. Great, one more. Good. And bring it down, go and stop there. Good, go back down into your deadlift position. Go back down again. Good. Okay, another thing that's really important to look at here, which I did not correct because the movement was good, is the height of the hips. So to keep a straight back, we're gonna play with the hips either a little higher, or a little lower, to make sure that the shins stay vertical. So let's do one or two more reps like that, transferring your weight onto your heels. Good, excellent. Let's do one more. Notice the back is staying nice and straight all the way to the tailbone. Great, that's good. So that's how you do a deadlift correctly.